Hey guys, Simon here from Simon Says Cycling. Today I'm going to talk about training for road races versus training for criteriums. In Florida and in the US, there's such a focus on racing criteriums, and many times the races are less than an hour. Even the pros or the Cat 1, 2 riders, a lot of times they're only racing for like 70 minutes or something like this, which is nothing. You know, if you look at European racing, I mean, the pros are racing, their criteriums are often two and a half hours minimum, and their road races are five or six hours, whereas here the distances are much shorter. But today I'm talking about the difference in training for a one hour criterium versus a road race, which may be two or three hours in, in the local racing. You know, many times I see athletes out there and they're training and they're doing a lot of miles, and there's nothing wrong with doing a lot of miles. It will definitely help you. But is it preparing your body for the type of efforts required for criteriums? Or what about the strategy and the skills required for criteriums? Racing criteriums requires a lot of speed, a lot of skill, skill with cornering, skill with high pack riding, high speed pack riding, as well as a lot of high intensity. So if you're training for criteriums, you need to make sure you're getting enough of those VO2 type intervals, those very short anaerobic power intervals and simulate in training what your body is going to be required in racing. Now, if you're racing a lot of road races and not many criteriums, you still need the VO2 power, but you also need a lot of longer sustained type intervals, some long threshold, very hard tempo type intervals um, to prepare for that, as well as getting a little more time on the bike. So the, really the difference between tra training for criteriums and training for road races is that if you're not doing a lot of high intensity for criteriums, you're not really training for that event. You're training more for road races. Hope you guys enjoyed that tip. Please leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, and make sure you check out my coaching group. It's only $49 per month, and you get this, the option of two training plans from me, designed personally by me each week, delivered via Training Peaks, as well as a lot of coaching and tips via a private Facebook group, where I send out weekly tips and information as well as you have the option to communicate and ask questions there and receive additional coaching. So check that out. It's on my website, simonsayscycling.com forward slash coaching slash group. Hope you guys enjoyed those tips. Go out there and make it happen.